Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to do a reading about why is he not calling? You know, what is the reason? So I have four different tarot card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? One of these four brown tarot decks? Okay, so let's start then with the deck number one. Let's see, why is he not calling? What's the reason? I have my deck number one here. It's Golden Universal Tarot by Los Carbeo. Let's see. Why is he not calling? Okay, that's him, the King of Cups. He looks very moody. Here, Okay, we have a situation <clears throat> uh, that reminds me of like some sort of function or some sort of business. Uh, it can be um, that they have to attend somewhere, like a meeting or at work, that sort of situation, and they are not free here. Maybe they didn't have the opportunity to call. You know, for me it comes that they either work somewhere or they belong to someone uh, they respond to and they didn't get a chance because they're still there. Like, it looks like it can be like an army, it can be some sort of official function, political function, business function, like um, important meeting or some sort of official important event uh, that they had to attend and it's very um, big it's very kind of uh, the authority is um, incredible here the hair from card and i feel he is one of these people and because of that they just get, they just didn't get an opportunity yeah You know, this full card here for me seems like they didn't have an opportunity because full is a spontaneous action. And because of something that they belong to or something that they had to do, they just simply didn't have that opportunity. But it uh, might be that they will call you still. Let's see. Why well, they haven't called you? Again, we have a, some sort of unexpected work situation, some spontaneous action, something came up. And as you can see, we have here pentacles and pentacles, like they're really busy at work. And it's other people, it's not them. Like it's because of some uh, official document or letter or some sort of end of the month work that they have to do, uh, something like that official problems it can be in some cases uh, attending a function family function or some religious function as well uh, but in any case uh, the meaning is that they it's because of others it's because of the situation that they cannot control and um, maybe the focus is there will they call let's see will they call It still shows that they have extreme tension at work, 
these cards uh, that they the only thing they can think of is work right now I think they will call they will call uh, when they get a chance mm. definitely they will but here we see like they can hardly keep up with the everything that's going on at their work and in their life right now it's a busy moment the it's just so stre stressful for them okay so what is the message from them a quick message because you cannot wait for their call okay so we have a situation uh maybe they are lonely they feel lonely without you or they understand that you're feel lo uh, that you're feeling lonely you know this is loneliness hermit and uh, it's called about uh, these cards talk about a new trip or a new project or something that came up and it talks about travel and you can see the world card it can talk international travel it can talk um, some sort of demand demands going to them from the world so <clears throat> for me it seems like a promise here as well <clears throat> like everything will be okay I'll call you or I'll call you and we'll go on a trip or something like that <clears throat> overall I'm getting <clears throat> a good vibe here like a promise for me for some reason it's like I understand you're lonely I'm also lonely I'm bored <clears throat> but I promise to you I will come back and I will call you and it's gonna be for sure <clears throat> it's a guarantee and everything will be fine and I'm also getting uh, missing, missing distance here, distance, um, like I will come or something of that sort. Look at those cards, of course they will come and they will call, we have the sun, we have the four of wands, everything will be okay. Okay, so this was our reading number one. Now let's move on to our reading number two. This is our deck number two. It's the Druidcraft Tarot deck, trimmed and worn out. Um, now... The question is, why is he not calling to you right now? Why is he not calling? Why is he not calling? It can be he or she, by the way. You can choose any gender here. Okay, so... Here we have a little bit of a intense cards. So it seems that it can be that you, you had a disagreement with him here. Uh, it can be that uh, the situation is that they are trying to avoid <clears throat> some sort of conflict. It can be that conflict with you or it can be in general some sort of... I'm just basically seeing a conflict, a situation he is here. And uh, people are coming over at him with some sort of requests or some sort of ideas or some something like that. And it's kind of bothering them. So they want to basically fight them off. He, wa he wants to basically feel get rid of a stressful situation here. So he's running. I think he's running. He's avoiding for the call. Maybe... Uh, maybe you had a disagreement. Maybe you know what I'm talking about here. So... And yeah, again, we have uh, differences of opinions. It can be um, that you basically, again, had a fight 
and they still didn't forgive about uh, didn't forget uh, that fight and they still want to ho hold their point they think they they are right and they don't want to give up so there is uh, that sort of feeling here you know, maybe they want something from you in some cases it can be want something and they're trying to fight for it and let's say if they're not getting what they want from you they will basically uh, try to punish you in a way punish or manipulate in a way by not calling basically first think about it if you um want to do what i want from you then basically um then call me if you agree with my terms and call me because I, i'm not gonna um, agree with your terms and we have the the woman as a reason why they're not calling now she's the queen of wands uh she can be you if you are very pushy for example about something towards them like asking like i feel like they're avoiding here for some some sort of thing um so it can be that you're pushy uh towards them in asking something from them demanding something or you know it can be about anything but if this is a romantic context it can be you're pushing the relationship you know or something and they're trying to avoid you because you're too pushy you're too ambitious you're too strong so they're kind of afraid of you so they're trying to avoid now of course it can be that this is another woman and this is some sort of other female that they have and this is because of her and it can be also because of both of you because it the relation the situation is interrelated it's basically because of love it's romantic interest um so it can be that they love another woman and that's why they're not calling yeah so we have the situation and i think if you know the situa uh, situation you might know which is it you or is it her she can also be a fire sign, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. She can be, um, uh, and she can be Aries, yeah? Okay, let's see. Will this person call you? Will they call you? Well, we have a situation like I feel like if you have a secret affair with this person, I think this person want, wants to quit it just because it's secret, just because it's kind of like if you're a mistress for this person, they want to kind of quit it um, or they want to quit the, that kind of unknowingness, that sort of uh, platonic, unclear situation in this relationship. And will they call you? I feel uh, if they call, they can call you because of some form of financial type of thing, reason. But I feel that they are fine without calling you. We have a person who is alone. You know, I feel that they cannot decide because we have two cards that are two of wands and two of swords. And as you can see, it's indecision. They might call, they might not call. Maybe they cannot make up their mind. So I'm feeling like they might not call here. Anyways, what would they like to tell you, this person? If they're not calling, but what's their message? Okay, so... Here we can get, you know, with the Six of Cups in the middle, we uh, kind of might have a situation that is a past situation. That they see this relationship as something that's already gone, that's in the past, because they're looking back. Uh, it was nice and, and things like that. Uh, they might be even nostalgic about it, but... I think they want to kind of be strong and move away from that.
We definitely definitely talk about a relationship that you had. Um, a relationship might have come up uh, through work or uh, situation. It can be that it came through uh, like a very beautiful opportunity. It started very nicely and there were really sincere mutual feelings in this situation. But for some reason, uh, I'm feeling that uh, they're talking about moving away now. If you have another uh, boyfriend or, or some sort of friend, uh, they might be suggesting for you to move to them. It, it also can say that they decided to move away physically, like change the where they live. And at the same time, we don't see a particular interest in this relationship here. Um, maybe they kind of denying this offer that they decided not to take this opportunity to pursue this relationship in the future. It's just that they cannot appreciate it right now. They're in this state of unwanting, I would say. They don't know what they want. They're just lost in their thoughts and things like that. So it might be that it's something like that. Okay. So, and one more card. What is advice for you? Okay, we have the full card. Um, first, it can advice of uh, kind of being faithful, not faithful, but being playful. Yeah, do not take the situation too seriously. It can be that um, this was not a very serious relationship anyway. And it says that basically just let it go. You know, let it go and can also talk about trust that everything will be okay in the future. Someone new might come into your life, you know, that sort of thing. And also don't be a fool. You know, with this card, it can be don't be a fool. This person was just passing by. It was not uh, a serious relationship, not meant to basically not meant for a long-term kind of union so this is advice for you and also just try to have a light heart about it uh, don't be very serious about this as well and don't take any risks here uh, like don't try to get him back don't try to do anything silly because you might fall off the cliff it might end not well yeah with the full card uh, but you might have a good advice from other people here. The dog represents your people who care about you, who might advise you. So, yeah, basically uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's move on now to our reading number two. And let's see what the cards have to say. Why doesn't he call? Why didn't he call? Why doesn't he call? We have a card that fell. We have the King of Cups. Uh, it can represent this person. It can represent the fact that, uh, you know, their personality, very dreamy, very emotional, sensitive. It can be a mood moods person. It can be that you're in love with them. That's where the, the Cups, you know, King... Okay, why are they not calling? Why are this person, is this person not calling? Okay, we have a situation of uh, waiting. We have a situation of uh, also the fact that your relationship, well, there are many meanings here. I'm seeing, I'm basically feeling not a very easy situation here. Uh, we have a person now that maybe you met again through work, through some sort of enterprise, through some sort of business or trade or something like that. It can be that this relationship grew to a level where you wonder um, what's the next step. 
you know, are they just going to disappear like that, you know, like maybe they promised to call or maybe you thought that it's quite uh, stable, the relationship already, because you didn't see any red flags in the relationship, everything was going fine and suddenly they disappear and you kind of wait and wait for them. Uh, there's this feeling of waiting also and um, <clears throat> yeah, the feeling that of growth here like you've invested enough into each other and now what's the next step <clears throat> so you're waiting for the call here you're waiting for the message this card can represent a messenger this boy page of wands is kind of walking <clears throat> and you're waiting for that message maybe from far away but here it's not happening something's not right so I'm getting, they are not uh, in a good place. Um, I don't know if it's uh, work-wise, if it's health-wise, if, if it's something like that. Maybe they just, I'm not feeling very strong uh, movement or something here. It's more like waiting and um, that sort of feeling, yeah, like waiting and... Trying to keep up with life, maybe. Let's have a look. So I'm feeling basically very small energy here. Very like, um, like I I don't even feel this person that much. Maybe it's a very long time back type of relationship, like five years ago. Um, Maybe uh, they don't think anymore that much about you. Mm, the, or maybe they're very far away. There's this distance in time and this very faint feeling of what's uh, of this relationship. Maybe they're not in a good place themselves. I feel like maybe they forgot about it. Something like that. Explain justice. Ace of Coins. Well, it can show it point to some legal issues. It can point to um, another marriage, some sort of engagement. It can point to some documents relating to a female who's interested in those documents. I feel there is a situation here. Um, maybe they're going through divorce or maybe they're going through something like that. I feel like papers, documents, something... So and I'm gonna ask why don't they call you? Now we see them being torn into two parts here with the two of swords, they're closing their heart chakra. They're trying to not feel here. They're trying to basically um, compress and um avoid this topic again. I would say they're trying to shut themselves off from moving towards that into that direction towards you and uh, because they have a dilemma or i would say it looks like trap for me like trap more like trap and there is another force very strong forces going influencing them their thoughts and it's just such a decision to make that it's impossible to make you know, for them, maybe it's a marriage, maybe it's another woman, maybe because we have the Queen of Coins, it's a usual card for housewife. And it's a law, legal, now this is documents, 
and we have this woman. So there might be this feeling that they try and try and they cannot get to you or they cannot decide what to do, that sort of situation. They can hardly handle one and then there's another female they have to basically contact or take care of or something like that and they just cannot do that. So let's see. Will they call eventually? Will they call? I'm feeling that they might call here. Because uh, from these cards, for me, it goes feeling that they actually um, want this relationship, you know, that they're interested in this relationship and they want to overcome all the obstacles in order to be with you. Or it can be that, yeah, they're in a relationship also. And they might still want to be in a relationship with you. They might call you. Secretly. Or they're planning to do that. They're still thinking how to do that. Um, so in some way they will message you. What's their message for you? Let's see. You know, it's like, let me take care of it. Let me take care of it. I know it's very frustrating and it's like lots of things are happening right now. And uh, I definitely want to call you. I can't wait for the moment when I can actually contact you. And I just have to take care of some stuff here. And I will definitely call you. Hmm... It can be that they're thinking mm, of, well, the first thought was emotionally leaving that other female. Uh, yeah, because that's some, some sort of like that message, yeah. Yeah, this two of pentacles can mean two relationships because they're kind of juggling in both hands and it's very hard for them to fit the timing. And many things are happening. People are watching them. People are looking at them and they just cannot handle. So I know that maybe I couldn't write, rightly say which female is which. What is the exact, how to say uh, which one is you and which one is her, but I'm feeling like it's a <clears throat> double relationship, it can be, and um, they are struggling between the two, they're stuck. And yeah, what's the advice for you here? Okay, well here the advice is being to be faithful, to be honest. This is to be a mother, to be faithful, to focus on your kids. Now, if you're not a mother and you don't have, it's not a faithfulness type of situation, it says that everything will be okay, you'll get what you want, your wish will fulfill. Okay, so, also, third meaning is Mother Mary and a, a child, baby Jesus, okay? So, just pray. This is our advice, and this was our reading number three, and let's move on to our reading number four now. This is our deck number uh, four, and it's the Tarot of Nostradamus, like this. Why are they not calling? Why are they not calling? Why are they not calling? We have the Seven of Cups and the 
page of pentacles and the eight of wands why are they not calling here okay we have basically here you know I feel they will call here or they called actually here um, we have a building I don't know if it's a jail if it's, it's basically a situation as we have this building um, maybe he is in that building or maybe he is or she is in some sort of place and that he cannot get out of maybe they walked out into somewhere maybe you know because we have the door here some feeling like they went out or you're looking at the door you're waiting that sort of feeling um, so we have this it can be a wall it can be a wall like it can be a job it can be um, a jail it can be something else it can be like a palace or something and you look at it from distance and you're wondering when are they coming out you cannot see them so the door for me here it kind of means waiting now so they, they promise to call yeah they promise to call we have a promise here and uh, they kind of tying this uh, here the knot uh, tying the rope or a ribbon or something for me it seems like promise like I'm um, promising and it's a tree as well so they said like I'll call you or something and you're waiting for that but can you see this trumpet here I think that um, they will call you know but we have a snake a snake here so it's like trouble in calling but I definitely think they will they want to call or they already called a feeling is like they didn't have any intentions here not to call you and I'm feeling that they definitely called you already let's see will they um, call you will they call you again Will they call you again? Okay. We have the magician card. Eight of cups. They definitely will call you. You know, here I'm feeling that, okay, there was a problem with this kind of dragon thing. There was definitely a problem, some sort of, uh, maybe, um, you know, obstacle. They're not the type who would not keep their promise, I feel. They're not the type that would not keep the promise. We have this uh, bull, uh, bull here. For me, it talks about uh, stability and reliability. And that this person can be relied upon. They promise they will do it. And the last card, as you can see, is the sun. It's such a beautiful card. It's the ace of wands. So it's definitely a yes. They will definitely call it without no doubt. And what's their message for you now? What do they want to tell you right now? Let's say you couldn't talk. So what would they like to tell you before they call? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. You know, I feel that you're everything to them. You're their world, you're the universe, you're their uh, son, you're the most important woman in their life. And I feel that they, they think about you all the time, they keep you in their focus all the time. And uh, now because of some... Because of some bad things, you know, bad things or obstacles or the other people. Um, that they faced or that you face, you know, that maybe don't want your relationship. Because of that situation, they're kind of, there's a delay in calling. But they will never give up. As you can see, they're after you. And they will keep 
on chasing you forever. Well, I don't know about forever, but this is a pretty strong determination from them. So right now they would say, I'll be chasing you no matter what. And I'll be calling you no matter what. So this is a um, situation. Our situation uh, in the deck number four. I hope he calls and I hope everything will be okay here. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, they all call, yeah. I hope everything plays out well, plays out well, yeah. And I hope to see you next time, tomorrow. So, have a great night, have a great day, and bye-bye.